And I got some contacts in Atlanta, right? Yeah. And they say that, man, you know, there's been some cats going through Fulton County who've been whooping them in court. You know what I'm saying? I actually winning their cases, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want some. Yeah, I, I, and that's not odd on the state side. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Fed side, it seems like it's a harder task, right? Like they got like a 90 some percent conviction rate. Yeah, the Fed is 90, 98, 98 conviction rate. Yes, yeah, black and white thinking. Yeah. It's a 98 conviction rate. When they get you, they got you. Ain't a such thing as you getting out on PR bond mm -hmm. and you walking around for two uh, two years with a monitor on your leg. It's no such thing as that. And now you walking around free. No such thing as that. No, and, and I, I mean, essentially, they got an unlimited budget. It's the federal government. Like, they get everything they can think possible, they can come at you with. You know what I mean? Which is scary, man. <laughs> yeah. So how did you, knowing that, or did you already have that knowledge when the feds picked up your case? Um. My grandma had bought me that busted by the feds book. It's like $300. And it's a, the DA, assistant assist attorney that that quit the game. He seen too much stuff going in. And he wrote a book about it. It's called Busted by the Feds. And he gave you the game in it. So I, I knew then you, if you pay for a lawyer, it go by a point system. Okay. Whenever you pay for a lawyer, the lawyer ain't going to be able to go do nothing that that points ain't going to do. It's not like the state. Hey, give me a two. Don't give me a two. They will give eight. Okay, we can go get 18 months stay jail. It's not like that. And then this is what the guidelines is, and this is what you're going to get. And they're going to give you the high end, they're going to give you the low end. It ain't no none of that negotiation or none of that. It ain't. It ain't none of that happen. Man, that's crazy, man. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. It's they feed you good, though. Uh, you said what? They, they feed you good. <laughs> they feed you good in the past. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, man, now Young Thug is out, out there on an the island by himself. And it looks like he just filed a motion where he wants to separate himself from the rest of his co-defendants. And there's a way that or he wants his lawyer, or excuse me, the judge in this case, to make it to where they can't talk about any of their prior convictions in relation to his case. I was scratching my head like, well, if it's a RICO case, how in the world could that be possible? Because uh, I would want them to talk about their prior convictions. Because when a jury hear the people that's testifying on you, they prior convictions, mm -hmm. they they it's he shade. They word they word is not a credible in the courtroom. Okay. So I don't I'm not understanding why would y'all why Thug would not want them to not bring up their criminal history. You bring it up behind bodies you got and all this and you've been a jail for everybody, everybody, and you've been a victimizing all your life. How the f you gonna get up here and talk about me? True, true. And it makes it a little harder to prove that, yo, know, I'm the one making you do this. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You've been doing this waiting for you got in contact with me. Exactly. So that that's not a smart move on this lawyer if that's what they doing. That's that that's a dumb move. Yeah, I couldn't understand. That's dumb. I that's gonna blow the whole thing. I, you gonna let them get up there and talk they sh <laughs> Yeah. Now they're saying they've got so much evidence and witness testimony and all that. And one of the most famous things, I'm pretty sure you saw it, was the YSL Woody tape. Now, YSL Woody is a member of YSL who allegedly had told, been telling for 10 years. That's the rumor out there. Because in the interrogation tape, I don't know if you've seen it. Did you, did you get a chance to see it? He basically was talking to one of the cops and was like, yeah, man, I've been working with you for all this time. Just don't tell me you did anything illegal and we'll be good and all this. And it's like, whoa. This dude has been under Young Thug's nose all this time. He did interviews with Off the Porch where he was like, yeah, I'm a YSL representative and all that. That whole time, Buddy was an informant. Like, it didn't, wicked more young Thug. It didn't amuse me, though. Like, Go ahead, speak on here. It didn't amuse me. Like, I knew from the game when the, when the, when the camera came on, he was like this. That's what it's thinking. Mm -hmm. Man, they Got a boy shorts on. I just, he don't trying to go, oh, that's, they don't give a about nothing. He's just like this. Man, oh, man, come on, man. It's going to be a hit. I'm not, man, I'm the only one that can stop it. Boy, you pulling out all the stops. Yeah, man. Like he was like, all the stops. He put 21 Savage's name in it, a guy by the name of 44 Savage. He put their name in it. And you could tell he had been in communication with them before because he wasn't like, when he was talking with him, it was like he was leveraging for a deal. Like he was like, nah, you gotta get me out of this. But if you don't, I can't help you with these cases. And I know about murder tonight. You know, somebody's supposed to get shot. 
So he's really bargaining with them. Most people in that situation would be scared, nervous, not want to say anything because they know that they could trip themselves up. Most of these already done it, huh? Yeah. I'm being straight up. I, I, I'm sorry. Most of these already done it, huh? I'm starting to feel that way too, yeah. Man, look at them. It's too easy. Yeah. It's too easy to be real. Everybody wake up and put on a gray sweatsuit and say they real. Mm -hmm. Put on this bulls uniform and say they real. I'm being 100. I'm, everybody, I told you, everybody want to play Jordan. How many people go get Jordans? How many people go get, get the Jordan hat? I told him when he had that dinner with Robin's jersey on, he didn't know. I said, bro, you know what that dinner with Robin means? That was an animal. <laughs> they fight for every rebound. Yeah. yeah that, they will tell you what the crazy f they were. They ain't going to tell you how much of a team player he was. You better not touch nobody on this team. He, yeah. he pulling up, he's he jabbing. Yeah, yeah. Nobody ain't going to say that. <laughs> how many triple doubles he had? Because everybody want to be Jordan. But guess what? Look how with them numbers, 23, be ready what come with it, homie. Yeah. Now the Rico come, what he just want to contain for it. I know what come with it. Incite me. When you got a click, it's a potential in every click. Mm -hmm. You can't have five, six around, bro. It ain't going to be right, G. But, man, do you think that Young Thug is just pretty much. Nah, he's coming home. I put that on my granny. He coming home. Yeah, the, 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 the DA threw away 13 cases, the, the judge. It don't happen like that. And the main one was for wife and nut. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the main thing that got this shit started. Cool. Threw it away. The judge not having it. He seemed like he come out raw. But when you get a judge throw a 13 away, yeah. my ex quit playing, man. Yeah. He giving you a fair trial. What else do you want? Yeah. 